Hi, everybody. My name is Rafa Lombardino, and this is Translation Confessional. Chalice. Shut up. We're back with a new episode of Translation Confessional Music Edition, and today I'm highlighting yet another notable Brazilian song from the military dictatorship era. Today's song is Calice by Chico Buarque, accompanied by Milton Nascimento and the vocal group known as MPP4. To tell you the truth, this would have been my first choice when I first started putting together these musical episodes. However, I had to sit on it for a while. First of all, it may not sound like it, but it's a pretty brutal song. Secondly, there is a pretty tricky play on words that would be hard to translate without some footnotes. A fellow Brazilian translator actually asked me if I had been planning on featuring this song and wanted to know how I would address the ambiguities in the lyrics. Well, whatever anyone tries to do will fall short of how powerful the original is, but at least I hope I get to introduce this backstory to you and make you aware of this important piece of Brazilian history. So. Calice was first written by Chico Buarque and Gilberto Gil in 1973. They attempted to sing it live during a concert, but had their microphones cut off. Back then, artists had to submit their work to censorship authorities, so a lot of good stuff was banned before he ever saw the light of day, or had to be reformulated in a way that it would trick the military into thinking it was a fun, harmless song instead of protest music. Calice was only released five years later, and the verses written by Gilberto Gil were then voiced by Milton Nascimento. I say this is a brutal song because it depicts the main character's inner struggle while trying to resist a military regime full of censorship, lack of freedom, and torture, until he ultimately decides to give up resisting. The main play on words here is right there in the title. Calice, in the way it's written, means chalice, as in a large cup or goblet that is typically used for drinking wine, especially the ones they use at Catholic churches. So, using up this religious imagery, a connection is made with a passage in the New Testament in which Jesus is depicted as being in agony in Gethsemane, where he was arrested the night before his crucifixion. In that garden, he prays to God to relieve him of the cup of suffering, thus the chalice. So, Chico Buarque and Gilberto Gil try to trick the censors into thinking this was a religious song, that the main character was supposed to be Jesus or something, but they didn't quite fall for it. The thing is that whenever you hear the word calice in the song, you're also hearing the imperative calice, that is, shut up. As experts in metaphors during the dictatorship era, Chico and Gil took advantage of these homophones to allude to being censored in many of their works between the mid-60s and the late 70s, because they were effectively being told to shut up. Another powerful duality in this song comes with the word arquibancada, or the stands in the stadium. Well, back in the 1970s, the military regime adopted the bread and circuses approach, to keep people entertained and distracted from everything that was happening in the country. And one of the main distractions we have in Brazil, which can potentially drive nationalism, is, you guessed it, soccer. But the stands at a stadium also bring to mind the history of neighboring countries that went through a military dictatorship around the same time, most notably Chile where soccer stadiums were used as facilities for mass incarceration, where people were tortured and executed under the Pinochet dictatorship following the 1973 military coup. One brutal movie that depicts exactly that is Missing, from 1982, where Jack Lemmon and Sissy Spacek respectively play the father and wife of an American journalist who is missing in a Latin American country, and they visit a stadium to try to find him. So, in this song, when the character says that he is stunned, yet alert, on the stands, it's hard to decide whether he's watching a soccer match to try to forget about the reality outside the stadium, or if he's waiting to see if he'll be the next one in line for the execution. Still, one of the most 
powerful images in this song comes right at the end, the second to last sentence, where the character is effectively thinking about giving up. He says he wants to inhale diesel smoke, which is no arbitrary way to try to off himself. This is a direct reference to the death of political prisoner Stuart Anjo. Chico was friends with Stuart's mother, Zuzu Anjo, a famous fashion designer who used all her resources to find her missing son, including American authorities, since she was a dual citizen. Reportedly, Stuart had his mouth glued to a Jeep's exhaust pipe during a torture session, so that's what the song is alluding to right at the end. It's very hard to talk about Chico Buarque's work, because so much of it does need a lot of footnotes. Songs that may sound nice and cheerful, like Roda Viva or Apesar de Você, always have something else hidden behind the melody and the metaphors. He lived in exile in Italy for 18 months in 1970 after serving a short prison sentence because of his protest art, not only with music, but with theater and literary works too. Are you ready to play? Go to Spotify and open this exact same track. You can, number one, use the link shown on screen. Two, type the name of the song on the Spotify search bar to find the exact same track. Or you can scan the Spotify wave underneath the album cover. Just make sure the track you're selecting matches the album cover I'm showing here. Live versions and remixes won't quite work. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to, so you have time to set everything up. Then come back here to begin this experience. That's okay, I'll wait. I'm glad you're back. Let's go through a five second countdown and then you can hit play on Spotify as soon as you get to the black screen, right before the sound waves and lyrics show up. In just a few seconds, you'll be able to sit back and relax as the music is playing, and I'll be reading the lyrics in English to you. If, for some reason, the music plus narration is too much, you can mute me here on YouTube, but continue to play the song on Spotify and follow the subtitles in English to understand what the song is about. Are you ready to play the song? The countdown starts now. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. It's full of blood red wine. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. It's full of blood red wine. How could I drink this bitter drink? Gulp the pain, swallow the hard work. Although the mouth is shut, the chest remains. Silence is not heard anywhere on the streets. What good is it to have a saint of a mother? I'd rather be the son of another. Another reality that is less dead. So much lying, so much brute force. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. It's full of blood red wine. It's so hard to wake up a mute. If in the dead of night, I'm screwed. I want to let out any human cry. That's a way I can be heard. All this silence stuns me. Stunned, I remain alert. On the stands, because at any moment, 
I may see the monster emerge from the lake. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. It's full of blood red wine. The pig is so big it can no longer walk. Shut up. The knife is so blunt it can no longer cut. How hard is it, Father, Father. to open the door? Shut up. This word is stuck in my throat. This Homeric inebriation in the world. What good is it to have goodwill? Although the chest is shut, the wit remains among the drunks downtown. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. Father, keep this chalice away from me. It's full of blood red wine. Maybe the world is not that small. Shut up. Nor is life an accomplished fact. Shut up. I want to create my own sin. Shut up. I want to die from my own poison. Father, shut up. I want to lose your mind forever. Shut up. Have my head lose your judgment. Shut up. I want to inhale diesel smoke. Shut up. Get plaster until someone forgets me. Shut up. Send me an email at rlombardino at wordawareness.com or leave a voice message on my anchor page. If I get enough feedback and voice messages, I can go back to the subject and post a special podcast episode with everyone's opinion on this very same theme. By the way, my anchor page is anchor.fm slash translation dash confessional. I look forward to hearing from you. Stay tuned for weekly episodes and subscribe to Translation Confessional through your favorite podcast app.